thank you for ordering your brand new Tesla with Carparison. We've put together a short video for you to um, learn a few key features and controls of your new Tesla. First, we're going to start off by setting up a driver profile so you can adjust your mirrors to suit you. You just click on the little person icon at the top of the screen, go into driver profile settings, and it automatically goes to add new driver. You just enter your name on the screen using the keypad, press enter, then that gives you the ability to adjust the seat, steering wheel and mirrors to your desired position. So just by clicking mirrors, your left scroll wheel on the steering wheel then becomes active to control your mirrors upwards, downwards, inwards and outwards. Same again for the driver's side mirror, which you can adjust that to your desired position. And you've also then got various options should you wish to have the mirrors on auto tilt in reverse, auto fold when the vehicle is locked, and auto dim should uh, there be glaring lights behind you. So just hit save and that'll be your settings saved on the mirrors and that will then be linked to your profile. Heading over to the deeper vehicle settings, you've got your little vehicle icon in the bottom right hand corner. Click that icon there and then this opens up all the key controls for the car for the user profile that you've just created. The first option you have is related to your headlights and these are automatically set to automatic so they will come on when the vehicle senses it is getting dark outside. Should you wish to do these manually you just simply select your desired option and the headlights would come on accordingly or turn off. We're going to leave those on automatic. You also have the option to have high beam activated or not activated whichever is your preference. Should you need your mirrors to be folded in you can just click fold mirrors and you can even set a location to be saved should you park your car in a garage. When you arrive and park, it will automatically fold your mirrors for you. If you've got little ones traveling in the vehicle, you do have the option to turn on child lock, which could be extremely helpful, as well as window lock, and stop them messing around with the windows. And if you need to grab something from the glove box, you'll notice there is a lacquer handle on the glove box. You just simply hit the button and the glove box will pop on open, as you would have heard. The next setting down relates to your window wipers. They are set to automatic, so they will automatically adjust according to the rain outside. Should you need to clean your windscreen, you can just press the button on the end of the stalk and that will automatically clean the windscreen like so. To adjust the steering wheel, you'd simply click steering and then your left scroll wheel again becomes active to adjust the steering wheel on the vehicle to your desired position and that could go backwards, forwards, upwards and downwards, whichever you prefer and hitting save will automatically save that now to your driver profile. If you're leaving the vehicle in a public car park and you want to watch out for any dings or dents on your car, you can set it to sentry mode and that will mean if the vehicle does detect any movement, it will automatically record and you'll then be able to pick those up as and when required. And the final bit that you've got on this screen is to be able to adjust the display brightness. We've got it set to automatic today, so it stays at the relevant brightness for the, the weather conditions but you can have it on manual and adjust it to what you would like accordingly but let's keep that one on automatic today. The next option you have is to adjust pedals and steering of the vehicle and this is where you can adjust things such as the acceleration having it on chill or on standard. You can adjust the steering mode whether or not you'd like it in comfort, sport or of course standard and also stopping mode. So most automatics creep with the Tesla, you do have the ability to put it on hold, which maximizes range by extending the regenerative braking, as it says on screen. For the charging of the vehicle, um, you can see we've got 82% today, which is fantastic. You can open your charge port in two ways when you arrive at your charger. You can either click the button on screen there, or you can easily just click the little lightning bolt on the right hand side, and your charging port will pop on open. And to close that one, you just simply click it again and that's your charging port closed and it then also closes the menu. This side here stays constantly open. While we've got this open on screen, you do have the ability to open your, your frunk um, due to the lack of engine and also your trunk just by hitting the open button. And as you would have heard a click there, the trunk opens on up and you can close that from within the vehicle also. And you can also centrally lock the vehicle just by pressing the button on screen. We we'll head back into the menu now and move on to options such as including an autopilot. The vehicle we've got today does have full self-driving capability, 
So these options may appear differently on your vehicle, um, but you can customize the, the options on screen to exactly what you like, including setting the speed on the cruise control to the speed limit or the speed you're driving. You can have that offset by a couple of miles per hour if you wish to do so. And then you've also got many safety features that you can activate as well, such as your blind spot camera, your blind spot warning chime, a chime if you go over the speed limit and your forward collision and lane departure avoidance. Moving on to locks, um, I'm sure you'll be keen to add your phone and use that as a key. You can do this by using the Tesla app, which will provide a full walkthrough of how to do this. And then that would simply appear on screen and the listed keys just there. You probably find on your vehicle, unless you've changed it already, that your walkaway door lock will be turned off as standard. But you can just turn this on, meaning when you walk away with the phone or a key fob, if you have one, the vehicle will automatically lock for you. There are further adjustments available with the lights. We've covered the headlights, but you do also have the ability to change the front fogs and the rear fog lights if needed. And also you can change the ambient lighting in the vehicle. Do you want the high beam on steering wheel lights and headlights to stay on after you exit the vehicle, which can be helpful in those winter months. Moving on further, we've got your display settings where you can change the appearance of the display to light, dark or auto. Um, on auto, this means the vehicle will automatically switch to night mode when it gets to a, a certain lightness outside. You've also got your screen clean mode, which by clicking that, it automatically puts the vehicle into a mode where you can clean the screen and get rid of all those nasty fingerprints without doing any damage on screen. And you just simply press and hold to exit for around three seconds and the screen will just pop back into life for you. You've also got further options around the languages that are used within the vehicle and the time that you wish, whether you want the 12 hour or the 24 hour clock, which just changes up here. Most people have the energy, energy display in percentage, but you can also have it in distance. The easiest way to change this is just by ticking the figure next to the battery, like so, but you can also change this as you see in the energy display screen here. You can also change the vehicle between miles and kilometers, centigrade and Fahrenheit, and tire pressure between bar and PSI. Moving forward to your navigation, um, you have the option to keep your navigation on mute or to increase the volume, depending where you would like that. Um, you can have the vehicle automatically route you to home or work at certain times of day. The car will automatically add supercharger stops if necessary, and you can turn that on and off. And you can also set various avoidances such as ferries and toll roads. To find the latest software for your vehicle, you just simply click the software button. This will display your registration and also let you know what packages the vehicle has, if any the current mileage of the vehicle, the exact vehicle that you've got. And as you can see, we've got a Model Y long range today. Um, and you can also check the software version of your car and if any updates are available. Moving on to your in-vehicle entertainment. Um, being a Tesla, you've got the option to use FM and DAB radio. You've also got the option to use Spotify should your vehicle have premium connectivity. So should you wish to connect your phone to the vehicle, you just click the three dots down the bottom here, go into Bluetooth, and you can either connect a phone or select an existing phone from on screen. So to adjust your air, air conditioning on the vehicle, you will notice that on the screen at all times, you've got the temperature that the vehicle is currently being heated or cooled to. You can just click this temperature and it will open up the further options for you. Here you've got the option to schedule the vehicle so that it will precondition the car and keep it nice and warm or cool it down depending on the temperature conditions. You've also got the ability to put recirculation mode on should you just want to recirculate the air within the vehicle and you can also adjust the speed of the fans should you need cooling down quicker. You can adjust exactly where the fans are pointing just by using your fingers on screen and pointing them where you wish to go. You can heat your windscreen or rear windscreen just by pressing the relevant buttons on screen. And it gets a little bit loud for us there. Or you can, of course, just set it to auto, which will automatically cool the vehicle down and slow the fan speed down as and when. Your heated steering wheel and heated seat functions are also found here. So just clicking that will turn on your heated steering wheel. Or, of course, you can adjust your passenger's heated seat and, of course, your own. And to adjust the rear, you'd simply change it to rear and you can turn on the rear fan just by pressing the button on screen. And you, can, you can also adjust the heated seats just by turning them on like so. And we'll turn them off. 
The hazard lights on the Tesla can be found just above you on the cockpit up here. And you just press the button and your hazard lights will automatically come on as shown on screen. We hope this video helps you get started with your brand new Tesla. Should you have any further questions, please get in touch and one of our leasing consultants will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.